Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? All right, we have the clock, not enough, the mirror. So you're, there's some mirroring happening here and butterfly. Bottom of the deck is kisses, unconditional love, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. So it looks like here there was a connection that you were not somebody. This fear and ego came out again. Self-sabotage came out again. It came out a different card. So there's someone here healing. I don't know if this is you or your person, but somebody was frustrated in a connection with this person, right? They were frustrated with them because they were sabotaging things. There was something that needed to be healed here. You could have been in a repetitive cycle with this person here. This person definitely has some insecure issues because lack of confidence and fear of ego is coming out. Okay, so somebody just, yeah, didn't feel like maybe they were good enough here. Someone here is obviously on a break either from dating or from dating and speaking to this person, okay? And they're taking their time out to heal. And someone is actually making progress, which is good. They are working on um, their their wounds and working on how they may have projected those wounds onto you. And they're realizing that there is some, some change that needs to happen. There's some healing that needs to happen, okay? And maybe the two of you are actually mirroring each other right now and both doing this. Maybe the both of you are both in this process. Yeah, look at what's on the other side of the deck, the hammer self-sabotage and this is the card that came out in the last reading too persistent and working on it so i do feel like you guys actually were um in a cycle with this person um so like you did this you may have taken this person back a couple times um or the two of you went through this cycle a few times basically but it looks like someone here wants to rebuild we're going to go ahead and pull some channel messages and then we'll pull tarot from the modern witch okay Show me what else here is going on in this connection. What does the collective need to know? Ooh, too many. Somebody's sad and depressed. And the Five of Cups did come out in the last reading. We'll see if it comes out in this one. Oh. We have Libra. So you could be a Libra or your person could be a Libra. We have Aquarius, okay, so strong air sign energy here. Leo energy, okay. Yeah, somebody was put you in some form of confusion here. Somebody's very confused. I don't know if they're confused about their act. Uh, hold on a second. I went through your phone, okay? So we'll see what that's about. Either this person went through your phone or this person is like looking you up online, you know, um, watching you on social media or something. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. Maybe in the past you went through this person's phone. It says, don't listen to what people say. It's time to move on. Mm. He's toxic. So there could be obviously some people in the background that had something to say about the two of you, okay? Or, or either about you or you about, I'm stopping your social media page, I told you. Yeah, okay. You may feel like this person was toxic. I mean, somebody obviously did have lack self-confidence and they did were listening to their ego out of fear. But now this person wants to see you again very soon here. <clears throat> Pisces energy here. You could be a Pisces or they could be a Pisces or could be dealing with one. And I didn't make the right choice. So maybe this person chose somebody else and that person was a Pisces and they're regretting that. And they're like, don't give up on me. Don't give up on me. All right. Let's see how this person is feeling. Show me how this person feels about the collective, please. How are they currently feeling about the collective? Okay, nine of cups, your wish fulfillment here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You could be a water sign. How are they feeling about the collective? Ooh, somebody lied. There's been some lies or some deception here. 
This person is sorry for the lies and the deception. You're, they wish they they wish they they had never. What was this? Yeah, somebody seeing what they did was wrong. Okay, high seas energy, the hanged one. They may have even gotten been lied to by the person that they chose. That was the wrong choice. They didn't make the. They want to apologize for that. Look at that page of cups energy on the bottom of the day. They're realizing this. They're realizing them, them being in this seven of swords energy, your you were wish fulfillment, and now they're looking back on that, and they they're thinking about how they're gonna apologize. How do they feel about the collective? King of Cups. Well, they definitely love you, and they feel like the love they have for you is a burden, and it's too heavy of a burden. They their emotions that they have for you, they need to get that off their chest. They're ready to get that off their chest. It, I mean, they're having too much anxiety about it. How's this person feeling about the collective? Uh-oh. Six of Cups. Definitely thinking about you. Definitely thinking about you, and they want to work on it. They could think that you were a soulmate here. Yeah, they want to heal this. They want to bring balance back into the connection. They're realizing your divine connection, okay? You could be dealing with a Sag also. Uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag. All right, we have the Four of Wands. Yeah, Twin Flame or Soulmate energy. They feel like you're the. You know, they do want to. They want union. They want to heal this. They want to bring balance back into the connection. They really do. They're just in their head, and they, you know, Four of Cups. You know, this is like about disappointment here. That you know, I think this person is like this newfound. They're coming to this realization collective that they're too focused on the past. They were too focused on the past that they didn't see what the divine was giving them at the time. So this person might have been attached to a past person and they made a decision to go back to a past person and then they were ignoring you. And now they're regretting this. They're thinking they may have an, missed an opportunity with you. High Priestess Pisces, Pisces Energy. Yeah. They they know this, but they're not saying it. They may not have communicated it with you. They haven't communicated this with you yet, but this is how they're feeling. So what actions will this person take towards the collective? Two of Pentacles. What actions will this person take? So they're undecided. Mm -mm. Two of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. So they're thinking about right now how they're going to work on this with you. They want to be loyal. This is all about time, energy, and effort here. So this person might be like a gift giver here. They're trying to figure out how they're going to move back. They're going to move and communicate with you. Yeah, I see more pinnacles. So you could be dealing with the earth sign. You don't have to be here. But they, this person might be a gift giver. They're thinking about what they can give you. I, you know, it's not about the, it's not going to be about the gift or the money. If this person comes towards you, it's going to be about the truth. You know, how does the collective feel? How does the collective feel? How does the collective feel? The lovers, you could be a Gemini. You know there is a choice that they need to make. You feel like there's a very passionate connection here between you and this person for sure. Okay. How does the collective feel? You feel like you may have left this person out in the cold here. Or you may feel abandoned by this person because they made a different decision, right? They made this choice and they left, made you feel abandoned. They abandoned a connection here or a... Um, <sighs> commitment with you they just abandoned it they chose for some of you this person could have chose somebody they were married to or this person left you out in the cold when they should have been making learning a spiritual lesson five of cups there's that sad and depressed energy how does the collective feel so i don't think you're too happy about this two of wands Bottom of the deck is four pinnacles, but you may have not have let this person go either. You might be waiting to hear from them. You might be waiting to hear from them. 
from them. He or she. All right. Taurus energy, Gemini energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What would this person say to the collective? I regret walking away. Yeah. They regret walking away, right? Making this choice they made. What does this person want to say to the collective? Okay. You will always have a place in my heart. Uh-oh. And then we have, you make my heart skip a beat. I get butterflies whenever we talk. That's our Six of Cups energy. And then we have, my heart is yearning for you. Yeah, for sure. I get scared if I'm being honest with you. For sure, they do. They don't have it all together, but they want to talk. We need to talk about everything. Okay, so let's pull a few more cards from a different deck here. Show me more. What actions will this person take towards the collective? What actions? What actions? So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this, oh, look at this. Or you could be dealing with a water sign. So there's a lot of emotion and a lot of fire and passion between the two of you, okay? This person's ready to be spontaneous. They're trying to have the courage because they feel so magnetically drawn to you, okay? And they're trying to trust their feelings, they're, you know, they're, it's, they used to be head over heart. It's like they're trying to balance that out and be more emotional. And like I said, this King of Cups with this Ten of Wands, this Ten of Wands is like it's time to let go of that burden. This person wants to release that and let you know and talk to you. They're trying to go with the flow. Okay, some of this, some of you guys, this person is having dreams about you. Also, they're trying to trust their intuition. South node. Yeah. This person feels like they have unfinished business with you. They're thinking about the past. This person is going to keep completing this cycle in life if they don't learn. By the way. All right. And fourth house came out. So this is about home, family, self-care, childhood. Okay. This is telling me like something from the past and their from their past life as far as not past life, but from their past as a child. Something in their home or where they were raised or whoever raised this person or like that has something to do with how this person um, deals with deals with things. Okay. They're trying to work through that here, it looks like. That's the energy this person is in. What else does the collective need to know about this connection? They don't want a relationship at this time. Happy being single, go with the flow. It's up to them. Fear of the unknown is causing stagnation. Let them lead the way. Timing is uncertain. So right now it's looking like this is going to be the last test. You get, you get to decide whether or not you want to go through this cycle with this person again. Are they the same? Have they changed, right? Have you learned your lesson? Um, I feel like this is a cycle that the two of you will continue to go through if you don't learn that lesson. If this person comes back and they want to talk, uh, you may decide that you're going to remain single and, and, and you're happy being single at this time. Um, you know, it's it's up to you to decide whether or not um, you and you use your intuition to just see how this person shows you what the what they you know yeah if they changed or not one more yeah detox period cleaning up their life and getting ready to start a new life with you worth waiting for so this person has look what's on the top of the deck, the, the deck family issues family responsibilities are holding them back maybe a marriage okay they, like I said there's either something going on with this parent this person in their home as a child that's affecting them that they need to heal or they chose somebody else they used to be married to or somebody they were in a long-term commitment with or they have history with and then ego death, okay? Somebody is like realizing they weren't fully aware of the mistakes and they want to make things right, which is that seven of swords energy. Look, you know, this person has these swords and they're looking back at the hangman like, you know, um, they're realizing their mistakes and what they did. Okay, so that's your reading. I love you guys.